an extremely powerful card against any deck that relies on small minions. And hyped here, he chooses to go with Unstable Portal this turn. <gasps> do, you oh. see, do you see what I just saw? Dr. Six this became Dr. Three. Oh my god. <laughs> And this is actually, so I was talking earlier a little bit about you know, people, uh, their, their commentary when, when uh, Mysterious Challenger was previewed. And I actually literally said that I thought that the biggest impact the Mysterious Challenger would have on competitive play was when someone cast Unstable Portal into Challenger. You see, you see even Zelay has to laugh at this. This is mean. Oh, but, but there's, there's no, no secrets. secrets! Oh, dear. Uh, I, oh, no. He is, he is playing the, the, the Mech Mage version that does not, play, uh, does not play Mad Science Mirror Entity. And here he's getting punished for it. He got a Mysterious Challenger off of that Unstable Portal, but no extra value. Just a 6-6 six, six for 3. Hey, we may actually see... Uh, Blingtron replace that weapon with something that cannot actually contest Mysterious Challenger. Now, I actually do not think that Zelay knows that Hyped is running Blingtron in this deck. Maybe the fact that uh, No Secret came out of the Mysterious Challenger could tip it off, but let's see his face as he sees this card. That's what I call it's, value. He, oh! I, that looks like we have a Poisoned Blade. Every time you use your hero power, Whoa. gives this weapon... That's, that's actually... And we have an Argent Lance for Zelay. And Argent Lance, it, it is able to actually still kill the Mysterious Challenger. So in this situation, the Poison Blade is just brutal because not only do we see the, the Warsuck plus Patreon, but there's also the Ghoul, which will enable even more minions to come out here. Now, even if a Doomsayer happened to come out from this uh, Shredder... He even has enough, da yeah, he even has exactly. enough damage to kill the Doomsayer. So Worst case scenario is not that bad. Whether or not Hype's running it, I don't know, but I think he has one out here, and that's a Flame Strike. Yeah, this this is the the danger of the the mech mage deck when it doesn't necessarily get uh, a draw that can really overwhelm the uh, the early uh, turns and keep the I mean keep the, the uh, patron warrior deck on its back foot. Mm -hmm. Zelay or uh, Zelay was able to really sort of just assemble the tools he needed. He's still you know very high in life, not really under a ton of pressure. And here I actually wonder if Zelay is is, one, is thinking about okay, you know, do I want to get this full board so if my opponent does have you know, some sort of board clear effect, I will still get my, uh, my patrons. Un unstable board portal into Explosive Sheep could Ooh. actually get close to wiping this board. Uh, there's oh, a there's portal. a portal. <laughs> well, it's Explosive Sheep, it's happening. We, actually, we don't have enough mana to cast Deathwing if we get it off the off. Baron get in? Sootsbeer. That, unfortunately, We found a mech, boys. Enough. We found a mech. But and with that, Height will throw in the towel once again, putting Zelay up 2-0 in this match. Yes. Deal with multiple minions very easily. You don't have weapons that allow you to you know, have tempo plays where you have to kill one minion this turn, then one minion next turn with the same, uh, same investment of mana. And here we see Hyped has a great curve. Meanwhile, Zelay does have the Aspirant, but even if he coins it out, he would have nothing to do on three. Now if he plays it on turn two, it just dies to the board. So Zelay is actually in a little bit of trouble here. Even though he did get into one of his ramp cards, it, it just doesn't fit his curve correctly to compete with the plays that Hyped is able to do. I mean, the, the Donatus Aspirin here oh, is... Oh, that is, other Mech Warper, ooh. that is... Oh, dear. That's oh, mean. Oh, I'm, I, I kind of have to feel bad for Zelay here. This is, this is just brutal. He's what, actually, do you, what would you rather do, flood the board or get out the Shredder here? I, I want to play it all. I want to play it all, I think. I mean, oh, you, I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, like, you can play the Shredder yeah, and the... It's zero and two, yeah. I mean, like, the, the, the Spider Tank, it's going to have to wait for next turn. But, uh, you know, as, as, as far as we were saying, Druid having a difficult time of catching up when it falls significantly uh, is Fell Reaver, which would be one of the, one of the scariest cards that could, that could come down next turn if he left the Mech Warper alive. Uh, and he, it's, also, it's also possible that, you know, looking at Zelay's hand, he has two... Yeah, he does take out the Mech Warper, which I, I like this play mm -hmm. because this, this shuts down the scariest things that, that, uh, that Hype could do, but it does actually just walk right into the Shredder. So I, I think what he was planning to do is having the ability to innervate out the Force of Nature this following turn, mm -hmm. but now... ...threat while uh, actually leaving himself a little bit stronger uh, board right now. Mm -hmm. and it looks like the... Uh, the keeper comes down, takes out the snow chugger. This does leave open the possibility for Zelay. You're you're going to kill the block. You're going to kill the Drake, almost guaranteed. Uh, and then you're actually just able to, to send everything that you have left at face. Mm -hmm. the, the like, ooh, and he gets it. <laughs> wow. Oh, Chug is here to stay. So that's that's a, a really really good uh, drop from that shredder. Not only is it a uh, is it a mech, but it does you know have that, that freeze effect. Mm -hmm. Probably not not going to be important in this in this game, which is likely just over next turn. 
All right, so we're probably going to see either Force of Nature or Keeper here. I, I like Force of Nature. You can attack the... the I would personally rather kill off this Blast Mage sure. just to make sure. sure. Yeah, I can, I, can, I can see that as, as, as being a, a safer route. Because uh, right now, I don't think that four damage type space, potentially for the Doomsayer, is enough. But with that draw... And this is, this is in fact, enough. That this is, is it. Exactly lethal. Exactly with lethal. Hand. So uh, down two games, I managed to pick up one with his Mech Mage deck. He is going to be facing off again against uh, Zelay's Druid deck with his choice of either his Warrior deck or his Druid. So if you were in Hype's position, what do you think you would go?